Welcome to Missouri Chamber Direct. I'm Karen Bushman. Missouri lawmakers have sent several important business bills to the governor. First, Representative Scott Fitzpatrick's bill would help protect Missouri's unemployment insurance system during future economic downturns. The bill ties unemployment benefits to the Missouri unemployment rate, providing more benefits during a recession and less benefits when jobs are plentiful. This bill would help Missouri avoid having to borrow money from the federal government during the next economic downturn, potentially saving employers millions of dollars. Lawmakers have also passed a bill to restore caps on medical malpractice lawsuits in Missouri. Since 2012, trial attorneys have been able to pursue unlimited payouts in these cases, leading to rising insurance premiums for Missouri doctors. Representative Eric Burleson sponsored the bill and explained why caps were needed. It's better than the current status quo, which is that they have completely uncovered, like there is, there is, right now there's, they're open to all kinds of risk at this moment because there's no caps. In addition, lawmakers have passed an important bill that gives multi-state corporations more options for allocating their income on tax return filings. All of these bills now go to Governor Jay Nixon. The Missouri Chamber is urging the governor to sign these bills so they can become law. Get the details about all of these bills on our blog for business, available at mochamber.com. In other news, a Missouri Senate committee heard testimony on a bill to reform discrimination lawsuits in our state. Representative Kevin Austin is seeking to bring Missouri in line with the federal standard for discrimination, which is also used in many other states. It seeks to modify the Missouri Human Rights Act. Uh, basically, and I'll be quick since you've heard this, not just this year already, but in previous years, um, to go from the contributing factor standard back to the motivating factor standard and including the shifting burden analysis we found in the federal cases of McDonnell Douglas and Price Waterhouse. Uh, in addition to that, there are some damages caps. Of course, the caps do not apply to back pay or interest on back pay. And the damages caps do not in any way affect the equitable relief that a court can award uh, the, the plaintiff or person who's been harmed by discrimination. I would just stress that this is uh, from our member employer uh, employer standpoint, this is one of the most significant uh, changes we could make in the law to help um, uh, help uh, fix what is one of the problems most often faced by our employers. Representative Austin's bill awaits a vote in the Senate Judiciary Committee. Finally, a group of concerned Missourians rallied on the banks of the Missouri River this past week to oppose a massive regulatory expansion coming from the federal government. The EPA wants to begin enforcing its rules on more small streams and tiny wetlands. This regulatory expansion could impact many farms and businesses. This is very, very concerning. This uh, uh, violates the balance of power that has been working for years between federal jurisdiction, state, and local jurisdiction to ensure Americans have a clean water supply. But it also potentially jeopardizes their farming operations and how uh, county and local governments conduct their business as well. If you have to potentially get a permit just to be able to carry out your basic farming operations or to be able to clean a ditch if you're a local county government. The Missouri Chamber and other stakeholders are asking the federal government to reject this effort. That's all for this week's Missouri Chamber Direct. To keep up to date with the latest news, visit our website at mochamber.com.